Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. So, after the main update of Game Hub Emulator, we are getting updates here quite frequently. Recently a new update came. Here the emulator is being optimized even more for low-end devices. So in today's video, I am going to tell you the complete setup of the game emulator, in which I will tell you how you will be able to play GTA 5 here. So for that, friend, First of all let's talk about the system requirement. First of all you should have a processor which should have an end score of at least 4 to 5 locks. And I am talking about this minimum system requirement. With this your game will at least run. I cannot tell how the performance will be. But at least your GT5 will run easily in an end score of 4 to 5 locks. I have also made a video on this. The processor with Helio G99 also has the same end score. And in this video you can clearly see that our GT5 was running easily. And now let's talk about RAM requirement. So brother you should have at least 6GB RAM to play GTA 5. In less RAM than this, our GTA 5 does not boot properly. So you need at least 6GB RAM. I have also made a video on this in which I played GTA 5 in a device with 6GB RAM. So you can also go and watch that video. You will find it on our channel. Now let's talk about storage requirement, about which no one talks. Brother, if you do not have storage in your phone, then how will you play the game? So brother, look, here we are using an emulator in which we need the actual game and the size of the actual game is 72GB and you should also have 5 to 10GB extra. So let's assume at least 80GB of free storage in your phone. So I have explained the system requirement completely to you. If your phone matches this then you can easily play GT5 here. And if your phone is better than this then it is even better. You will get to see good performance here. So now I am going to tell you its complete setup. So you watch the video from start to end and if you are not on the channel then subscribe for such great videos. So without wasting any more time let's start amazing videos. Alright guys this is our latest game app. First of all we will open the app. As soon as you open it. You will get three options to log in here. You can create an account directly through Google. So I have selected my account here. Then you have to select any avatar by tapping on the circle here. After that we will continue. Then you have to create a username here. Create anything brother. After that we will start here. Then after that we will allow permissions here. And then after that you get to see the interface of Game Hub like this. Here you have to go to the My section on the top left. Here you will get to see many features of Game Hub. I keep making videos on this, so subscribe to the channel for that. For now, we will first add our 72GB GTA 5 here. For that you have to click on Import PC Games. Then you will come to the internal storage. Here you have to open your GTA 5 game folder, wherever you have kept it. So I have kept it here. So this folder of GTA 5 is mine. I will open it. Here you have to select GTA 5 la.x. Our game starts from this X file. So we will tap on it here. Then after that here you can change the poster and also edit the name by clicking on the pencil icon in the center. We will simply click on confirm. After that the game up app will automatically update all the necessary files and it mostly updates everything according to your device. So this is a very good thing. When all these files are updated, you have to come back. Then click on three dots and go to PC game settings. Here first of all you can set your resolution according to your device. After that go to compatibility settings. Here mostly the settings make it perfect according to your device. You do not need to do anything. But still you can do some tweaks to improve the performance. But here the system GPU driver has been given for Mali GPU devices and in DXVK I mostly select 1.10.3s sync which is also suitable for Mali GPU devices. After that here you get to see the option of versus RAM limit below. If you have a very low end device then you can also set 512 megabytes. After this you are completely ready to run the game here. But here in the beginning you get to see the first mission in which most people get stuck. They are not able to explore the open world. So for that you will have to skip the mission. For that you will have to insert the save game. You will see the save game file here like this. This is the social club folder inside which the save game file is. And you guys can keep this folder anywhere inside your download folder. After that, click on the three dots and go to PC game settings. Here in the compatibility setting, you have to select Proton 9.16 in the compatibility layer. You can copy paste inside this wine. So after selecting this wine, you have to click on enter container desktop in general settings here. You will come to desktop mode here. You can make it full screen. So here you can move the guy mouse from the touch screen. You have to go to my computer and double tap. Then go to D drive. This is your download folder. You will come to the folder in which you have kept the social club folder. And what do you have to do here? First of all, take the mouse and tap. Then what do you have to do after that? Long press with one finger there. Tap with the second finger. Then it will be right clicked. After that you will go to copy here and tap. Then it will be copied. Then tap again on my computers. Then here you have to go to C drive. Double tap on C drive. Then you will go inside program data. And here you have to long press anywhere randomly and tap with the second finger. As soon as the right click will be done. You have to tap on paste here. Then click on yes here. Then your paste will start happening here. You have to wait here. As soon as it starts showing to you. 
then understand that the paste has been done. Now go back. You can see that the entire folder has been pasted here. Now you have to exit here. You will exit by going to settings. Confirm. After that, go to compatibility and select the same Proton Arm 64 by 2 which is the old wine because by default it is selected here. After that start the game. Now you are completely ready to run the game. Your missions will also be skipped. What you are seeing is your FPS meter. With this you can check the FPS. You can keep it anywhere. Then after that you will have to press the back button here again to apply the controller layout. When you play the game with this, you will turn on the input mapping. So your input which is the controller layout will come from in front of you. And here your game is about to start. I have fast forwarded. And you can see that your game has started. Now here guys you can also do some basic GTA 5 settings. For that here you will have to tap on this button. From here guys if you want to make some changes in the graphic settings then you can do it by going to some basic settings. Sometimes you get to see resolution issues inside the game. So you can change that thing also from here. Make the screen type full screen. You can also change the rest of the resolution etc. If you press X, the settings will be applied. Then you have to press A your settings will be set here. If you look at the rest yourself carefully then you will understand. I don't need to explain this thing. I am sure you will understand. So you can see that your game has started. The whole mission etc has been skipped. Otherwise many people get stuck in the first mission and are not able to explore the open world. So friend, in this way you can copy paste the save game etc. I have explained that thing to you in this video as well. So brother, this was the complete setup of Game Hub app in which I have explained everything about GTA 5 to you. If you have any doubt, you can definitely comment. I reply to all your comments. That was all in today's video. If you like the video, please like it and also subscribe to the channel for such great videos. I will meet you in the next video.